renowned in the political field, Dr. Anwar Ibrahim, sorry, Sir, Mr. An Brother Anwar Ibrahim, who was the former Deputy Prime Minister of Malaysia, who would be giving a keynote talk on current world affairs, challenges and opportunities for peace on the 1st of December before our audience here. Other than these main speakers, I have, during these conference sessions, my colleagues to assist me in coordinating and comparing our sessions. Brother Musa Sarantino, Sarantonio from Australia, Brother Omar Dexter from UK, and Brother Isa Washington from USA. Before we have these sessions, it has been the formal policy of the Islamic Research Foundation to put before you all the art of Kirat, and we have some of the leading Qaris of the world, some present here before you, and one or two to come later on. We have today before us Dr. Uthman Muhammad Al Siddiqui from Saudi Arabia, who had the honor of inaugurating the exhibition on Islam at 5 p.m. today. You had before you Brother Ismail Lone from South Africa, a leading Kari, too, from South Africa. Other than these two Kari's we are having before you in the coming sessions, Kari Hassan Ali Murab from Lebanon, Kari Sherzad Abdul Rahman Tahir from Iraq, and of course, to lead the Juma Salah in the open ground here, Sheikh Muhammad Ayyub, the former Imam of Masjid al Nabawi, Medina. In addition to these Kari's, we have a very artistic vocal presentations too from our Nasheed vocalist. Nasheed is the Islamic form of singing the song within the parameters what Islam allows without the percussion instruments. We have Brother Zain Bika, who is already present here amongst us from South Africa. And we would, last, we would have, inshallah, Brother Ahmad Bukhater from UAE coming in shortly. Alhamdulillah. A vision of a man who single-handedly visualized and conceptualized this event. And as usual, those who know him, he is, once he is at it, there is no stopping him. And with the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his efforts have made this event possible. Brothers and sisters, please welcome Dr. Zakir Naik, Dr. Dr. Zakir Naik, Dynamic International Orator on Islam and Comparative Religion, President of Islamic Research Foundation, here before you all to welcome our speakers on behalf of the Islamic Research Foundation and put before you all the happenings and comments on this grand event unfolding before all of you over the next nine days. Dr. Zakir Naik. And he would conclude the session with his vote of thanks to all present here today. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalam. Al Rasulillah wa ala ali wa sahbi ajmain. Amma abad. A'uzu billahi minish shaitani rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Inna dina in the lail islam. Rabbi shahli sadri. Wa yisilli amri. Wahlul ugdatam in lisani yafkaw kawli. The respected scholars, as well as the respected speakers on the dais, the respected dignitaries from different parts of the world, my respected elders, and my dear brothers and sisters, I welcome all of you with Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy, and the blessings. of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God, be on all of you. It is a great pleasure and an honor for me, as well as for the people of Mumbai, that mashallah, such great scholars, 
and speakers of Islam from different parts of the world have gathered and they have accepted our humble invitation. And these scholars, mashallah, they have traveled from thousands of miles. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may He bless them and inshallah give them a great honor in this world as well as in the akhirah. It is not only an historic event <coughs> for our country, India, but Alhamdulillah, it is also an historic event throughout the world that, mashallah, such great scholars in such a large number, about 15 to 20, mashallah, especially in English language, have gathered together on one platform. And mashallah, when we invited these great scholars about eight, nine months earlier, alhamdulillah, summa alhamdulillah, 100% of them, they said, Labbay, they said, inshallah, we'll come. And as Dr. Muhammad said, that few would be arriving in the next two or three days, inshallah. The only person who could not make it was Imam Siraj Waj. Because when we invited him eight, nine months back in the month of March, he said, Inshallah, I'll come, but my passport is not with me. But Inshallah, in the next six, seven months, by the time a conference takes place, it will be in my hand. But unfortunately, yet, he does not possess his passport. So that's the reason he will not be able to make to this conference. The person who I really miss this evening in the gathering of such august people on the dais is none other than the person who inspired me, the person who changed my life, the person who changed me from the doctor of the body to the doctor of the soul. It's none other than late Sheikh Ahmad Didad. And he has not only inspired me, but he has inspired thousands of youngsters and many of the people who are on the stage, on the dais. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he grant Jannah to Sheikh Ahmad Didad. And I remember that when I was doing my medical studies, I met him the first time in 1987. And many of us know that the style of Sheikh Ahmad Didad is unique. And when I asked him, I was very young. Now also I'm young, mashallah. That's 1987. I told him, Uncle, why are you so aggressive? So he told me, I'm not aggressive, I'm militant. And there are two ways that you can fight the devil. It's either with the holy water or with fire. I have chosen the fire. And that was the reply. He had a unique style, mashallah. And According to me, he is the pioneer in the field of Dawah, especially as far as the audio video media is concerned. And he has changed the style and the methodology. There were many scholars who came early on comparative religion, but his style was unique. And he showed us a way, mashallah. And when he was at his peak in the 80s and 90s, he used to record on the best media at that time, in the 70s and 80s, that was the umatic format. 
but unfortunately the format on which he has recorded his programs today has been outdated and it will not be accepted by the channels in the world which are called as the international channels where the minimum accepted media is the digital beta camp.